Welcome, my name is Siobhan Murphy and I'm an educational consultant with the Edmonton Regional Learning Consortium. Today during this short video clip we're going to look at how the literacy and numeracy progressions are organized. To accompany this video clip there is a learning guide that highlights some key understandings, questions for reflection and discussion, as well as additional resources. So let's get started. The literacy and numeracy progressions are a resource that teachers can use to support students in meeting subject learning outcomes in our current curriculum. What you'll notice on this first slide is Alberta Education has provided literacy components and elements. And so you'll see that there's two components that make up literacy and then from there they've divided that further into the elements. And those elements identify essential behaviors, knowledge, and understandings that are truly the building blocks for continued growth in literacy. And just as they've organized literacy this way, they've also organized numeracy in the same way. So they've broken numeracy in, down into components and then from there further into those elements. So again, those essential behaviors, knowledge and understandings that are really foundational for our students to grow in their numeracy skills. So the progressions, they provide descriptors uh, for every element. And you'll see a brief screenshot here of a sample of the numeracy progressions. And they are truly designed to be a support resource for teachers. Uh, they can be used to support students in meeting the learning outcomes. Also to help us make sure that we're designing developmentally appropriate learning experiences that foster literacy and numeracy skills. And also making sure that uh, literacy and numeracy provide a deeper understanding for students to access subject specific materials so they span all subject areas as well as all grade levels kindergarten through grade 12. Now the descriptors are organized by division so they allow for quick reference as well as a opportunity for us to build common language for educators, students and parents. Now why were the progressions created? Well, for a few reasons. And so some of those are, again, to make sure that we're planning effective learning experiences for our students. Also to make sure that they span, as I mentioned, all subject and grade levels. But also to help us build that learner profile about our students and gain information about their strengths and areas of need. And then to help us use those progressions in determining how we might further support our students. Um, they also help us look at how do we help students who have not yet acquired the literacy and numeracy skills they need to access subject content. Now just a few things to take into consideration. The literacy and numeracy progressions, they're not intended to be an add-on. Instead, they're a support piece for educators to use, as well as they should not be used to teach or formally evaluate or report literacy and numeracy separate from the learning outcomes. Instead, they're interwoven to help students make sense of and deepen their understanding of subject-specific content. So on this slide here, you'll see a screenshot of the numeracy progressions, and this is just a small sample. But uh, what you'll notice is that across the top in pink, um, there is one of the components of literacy, so literacy, knowledge, and understanding. There's a short, short description provided, and then within there, it's further broken down into one of its elements, which is construct meaning. And there, within the construct meaning element, it provides descriptors at the various age or division groupings so that we can truly get a sense of what would we expect students to demonstrate by the end of their particular age or division grouping. Now, again, just as numeracy, or sorry, literacy is organized this way, so too is numeracy. So again, you'll see that it's got the component at the top and then it's broken down here into the element of the description. When you actually view the profession horizontally, the script provides an overview um, on this screenshot of how numeracy is developed throughout a student's schooling, K through 12. And when you actually view them vertically, you'll be able to see the descriptors in each element and how they provide a profile of 
well, for here, our example here of how numeracy is developed within the subjects throughout that age range or that division. This poster is accessible through the additional resources that's provided on the learning guide. What you'll notice here is on the inner circle, it provides the components of literacy, so literacy awareness and literacy knowledge and understanding. And then from there, the next circle provides those elements that fall within those components, so importance of literacy, learner awareness, and so on. And then from there, it's further broken down into that outer circle that highlights those descriptor headings. And numeracy, again, is designed in the same way, components, elements, and descriptor headings. I'd like to thank you for your time today. Again, I encourage you to visit the learning guide that supports this video clip to revisit some of the key understandings, those questions, as well as some additional resources that were shared today. Thank you for your time.